Hi guys, today I'm going to be using my toaster oven to cook a whole chicken rotisserie style. You're watching The Bear Pantry Show. I've had that toaster oven for quite some time now and Joe has always wanted to use it to make the rotisserie chicken but I have always stopped him because the meats tend to spatter stuff up on the roof of the toaster oven and make these ugly brown spots that you can't scour off so but I'm just gonna chance it today <laughs> and get this chicken in there and we're gonna see if it comes out good if it comes out good maybe it's something I'll be using over and over again and just get the use out of the equipment right so let's get the chicken in the toaster oven so the first thing I want to do is take everything from the toaster oven, the tray. This is the rotisserie thing that I'm going to use. These grates and even this little hooky thing that you use to pull the grates out with when it's too hot. And all I want to leave behind is the drip pan. To prepare the chicken, I've washed and cleaned it and I've rubbed it with some ricotta, salt and pepper. Take a look at the ricotta, see? This is Urbaniza ricotta. And you rub it underneath the skin and even inside the bird. Next, I prepare some olive oil and some cayenne pepper and I use my syringe to just go ahead and inject this solution into the chest part of the bird because this is the part that tends to get dried out when it's cooking. So just go ahead and inject it like two spots. Now test the toaster oven rotisserie thing to make sure it's working. Yes, it is turning. So now I've enlisted Joe to come help me string the chicken up because I didn't know what I was doing. And Joe at first had some trouble too, but he's figuring it out. He's my little MacGyver in here. And so, you know, just kind of put it in there and secure it, tighten the, the little knobs there. And look, he thinks it's ready, but I don't think so because these parts are going to touch the bottom of the tray and it's not going to make it turn. So we're going to use some thread or some string, kitchen string or kitchen thread. Don't use the nylon like me, silly. I was going to use the nylon and Joe put a stop to me and he goes, girl, you can't use that. You have to use the cotton one. So now it's just a matter of putting it in the toaster oven and turning it on putting in putting it on rotisserie and put the timer on and just watch it go okay this is gonna be fun you know when it comes to chicken you want it to be well done you don't want any kind of pink stuff to be inside the legs and the thighs and stuff so I'm timing this I think it'll need at least an hour and a half to two hours to cook so this is right at about 30 minutes into it it's looking nice and golden -y. it's smelling good it's juicy so take a look at it two hours later. I think this is done. I don't want it to go much longer because then it's going to become too dry. I removed it from the toaster oven, but I didn't take the contraption out yet because it's still too hot. But look at it. It's gorgeous. The skin is so crispy. I can't wait to dive into this. So it's still not cool enough yet, but I want to cut into it to see if inside the thigh and the leg is cooked because, you know, if that part's pink, it's not done, okay? But it's gorgeous. Take a look. It's all cut up and ready for us to eat. All right, so all it needed was two hours to cook the chicken all the way through, and it was fantastic. It wasn't dry, it was moist. You know, the kids were fighting over the skin, and I kept telling them, skin is not healthy for you. And they're like, well, we want the skin because it's crunchy and crispy and just flavorful and nice. You know, I probably won't use my toaster oven again to do this chicken, not because it didn't come out good, but because it did spatter on the top, and I had to, like, get at it right away to try to clean it, but there's still some mess left on the top. You guys won't be able to see it when the toaster oven sits on the counter, but I know it's there and it bugs me you know everything that I do in the kitchen I always try to make it easy because I want as least cleanup as we have to do okay if you guys like the video hit like below for me please share it with your friends and family and thank you so much for watching and until I see you guys again take care hey guys I'd like very much for you to be a part of this fun show and for you not to miss any of my videos so go ahead and hit that subscribe button don't forget